hello hello family my name is mary welcome to my channel my calabash of wisdom this channel um is pretty new so i'm pretty new to youtube and i decided to do youtube because i felt in my heart that i have several experiences and uh, i've read several books i've listened to many podcasts and um uh, if I don't share this message, it's of no use to me. I mean, I can better my life from it, but it is more useful if I share it. And I have a desire to share my messages, especially for Pan-Africanists or people who are interested in Pan-Africanism. My name is Mary Ann Gashukia, and I come from Kenya, but I live in the U.S., uh, and I have uh, a very big desire in, uh, in encouraging or educating our our people, our black community, about um, our our cultures and our Africa, and those who haven't been to the Africa in the continent, to encourage them to go visit or those who are thinking of relocating. Uh, I would like to share what I know and to also share other channels that have more information than I do and where I usually go learn and uh, find my information from and also share the literature that I find useful to me. And it's about learning and teaching. Each one teach one. So whatever you learn, we share and teach because we know most of the information that uh, is out there is not available in schools. We are not taught about who we are as black people. And this is uh, intentional by the oppressor. And you know that by now, the education system has been hijacked uh, in favor of the oppressor. So you find that the books that we study in school uh, are not written by people who look like us. And our children are going to the schools uh, that belong to the oppressor. They are studying books that are controlled by the oppressor. So you find that the information that is passed down to us has been uh, controlled and configured to favor our oppressor. And that is no wonder we still don't know who we are. Okay? Uh, I mean deep down we we don't really understand our origins and our history because everybody knows by now i hope that the first human beings were discovered in africa if you don't know that you can google it and look it up for yourself the first african uh, uh, the first people were discovered in africa two to six million years ago Industrialization has uh, uh, brought a lot of changes to the world. And if you look back into history, most of the, um, uh, most of the uh, mathematics, uh, languages, algebra, uh, science, and, and, and all that was discovered in Africa. And that information was transferred to Europe and it, it dispersed all over the world. Uh, I hope that you do have an interest in learning. And the only way you can learn your history is at self-teaching. You have to learn it by yourself. You have to read books. You have to uh, listen to channels that are providing this information. And... Uh, I didn't know much of what I know now uh, for a long, many years, even after going to college for several years. Uh, the information is not available. And unfortunately, even in Africa, the history that is taught is not teaching the children or we our history. Most of the uh, history is even a selective subject. That means it's not even mandatory. So most of the students go through school, they can skip out of history in high school, and then that is the end of learning for themselves. So Egyptology is a big deal. Most of the African Americans uh, in the United States, I realize, have a big appetite of knowing who they are. 
Why? Because we know their history. They were snatched out of the continent. Most of them were snatched out of the continent against their will. So the history that is taught to us in Africa is very, very sketchy, very sketchy. And uh, most of them have wanted to know where they come from. So they have a bigger interest in knowing where they come from than we in Africa because we take it for granted that Africa is our land and uh, we are Africans. So what is there to search for? Uh, you see, what you don't know, you don't know. You, If you don't know what to look for, you can look for it. And even though our colonizers gave us freedom in quotes, we know we are really not totally free because our religion was taken away from us our spirituality was controlled and they brought their their religion to us so we're not free in that regard our languages were taken away from us you know they came and taught us their language and that controls the people because we are speaking a language that they understand or they know so most most people have even started forgetting their mother tongue and their their language and that is very unfortunate uh, because most of the people have bought into the 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 why the colonizers language or culture or lack of it or lack of it uh, so it's very important that we start going back to know who we are and reinstating our traditions and cultures and languages to our children. Otherwise, we are going to lose it very soon. In fact, most people don't have a culture. They've already bought into the colonizer's culture, which is really no culture. So it is unfortunate that uh, that is happening. But I do realize that a lot of people are waking up and... Um, a lot of people are starting to study and to know who they are. Uh, when I look at the people that are teaching this information, most of them are not um, available on, on, on the media because they don't want them to teach us what they know. So you find that CNN will not cover them. Uh, you find that the mainstream books are not be, uh, are not being you know broadcast, so we don't know about them until you get into the rabbit hole and you start uh, listening to the people who are in the conscious community, and they will start recommending books, and now you start taking that rabbit hole and you can study on your own. But everybody has to take the initiative to do this and to teach your children to read books that teach them about themselves. Otherwise, we are going to lose our culture and completely, uh, you know, get lost again. And uh, we are trying to recover our memory of who they uh, we are. Our ancestors, most of them went without passing that, uh, what they know or the knowledge they had uh, to us. So we, most of us have lost our parents and they left with all the history. Uh, because some of it was taboo to even talk about, you know. They didn't want to talk about the colonizers. We really didn't see, I don't remember ever sitting with my parents talking about the revolution. They didn't tell us what, they, what their part was in the revolution. It was like taboo. So uh, remember, we've been brainwashed. And there's a book written by Tom Burrell, uh, that book. You can find this book uh, in Amazon or audio. Uh, audible this book tells us a lot about what the colonizer or the presser has done to brainwash us so we can hate ourselves so we can uh you know self-hate and forget who we are and forget our culture so read this book and uh, encourage your children or yourself first of all to read it and understand it there's a book uh, there's a movie uh, on Prime Video on Amazon. I hope you guys can get it. Uh, pay a, a few dollars and watch that movie. It is done by uh, Kabaka Mene. If you don't know Kabaka Mene, he is um, he's a professor and an educator on Africanism. And you can learn a lot by following him on uh, on YouTube or Instagram. I believe he does have some free lectures he does uh, on Instagram and he does have his uh, website. So go to Kabakamene, K-A-B-A, Kaba, K-A-B-A, 
Kamene is K-A-M-E-N-E. -E. Kaba Kamene. So go look for Kaba Kamene. He's a, he really teaches deep uh, into our history. Uh, another person that I would encourage in the same movie, Out of Darkness, is featured uh, Dr. Omar Johnson. Most of you know Dr. Omar Johnson. U-M-A-R Johnson, Dr. Omar Johnson. And you can find his uh, YouTube uh, channel is King Kong Consciousness. King Kong, K-I-N-G, Kong is K-O-N-G, Consciousness. Dr. Umar Johnson is very outspoken about Africanism and Pan-Africanism. In fact, he does uh, some classes on Pan-Africanism. So if you're interested, you can, uh, you can follow on those channels and also on Instagram. Uh, it's about each one, teach one. So once you learn something, share it. Teach somebody else, especially your children. Uh, remember, most of us took our children through the education system that we had to go through. So what we know is almost what they know. But now we still, we still, we have to unlearn some of the things that were passed on because they are not benefiting us. And if you think we are free, we are not. You already see the oppressor and what he's doing to the black community, especially in the United States. That's a telltale sign that we ain't free. If you look at Africa, most countries are still worshiping the oppressor. They're still listening to the oppressor. They are still taking uh, leadership guidelines or advice from the oppressor. Why? Why? So it's about time for, especially the young folks that are coming up, the leaders of tomorrow, you got to cut ties with the oppressor. Africa can do well without uh, the oppressor. We did it before, remember? The days of Mansa Musa, the days of the, the, the Egypt uh, queens and kings. We did it before. But they came and dampened us down and made us think we don't know anything. They took our books. They took our history. They are still mining our resources, our gold, our diamond, our people. We're still serving the oppressor. Our children, most of them are still going to Saudi Arabia. Remember, Arabs were the first people that enslaved Africans thousands of years ago. Imagine that. And we're still taking our children to Arabia to serve the oppressor. So really, we really need to rethink ourselves and rethink our future. There are some channels I would like to share with you. Um, one is Pan-African Daily TV. The, the Pan-African, it has a Pan, P-A-N, dash African Daily TV. And that channel is being run by Dr. Susan Tata, Susan Tata, T-A-T-A-H. Uh, she does a lot of interviews uh, on her channel and she interviews a lot of Pan-Africanists in there. Uh, I've come across her channel. She does interview Professor James Smalls, Professor James Smalls, S-M-A-L-L-S. -L -L -S. Uh, that, that guy is a, prof a professor that knows quite a lot of info, has a lot of information on our history. And I've also seen several uh, uh, interviews uh, done by Dr. Susan uh, on King Maponga Joshua. Most Africans know King uh, Maponga Joshua. So these are some of the people who are still left. We know we lost a lot of our Pan-Africanists and we know how they left us. We know how they got rid of them. Our doctor uh, Kwame Nkrumah, they, they, you know how they, 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 they left this up. You know why, you know? We, we have lost a lot of people, but there are still some that are left. And those are the ones that I would like to direct to you uh, because I've really benefited uh, from them. Uh, Professor Lumumba, he's a Kenyan. Uh, he does have a YouTube channel. He's uh, Professor Lumumba Foundation. You can go look it up and listen to what he has to teach. 
Last year, we lost another uh, genius, uh, Dr. Runoku Rashidi. Uh, Runoku is R-U-N-O-K-O. -O. Rashidi is R-A-S-H-I-D-I. And Dr. Runoku had a lot of information. He's established, uh, he has established several books that you can read. And he mainly talks about how uh, Africans were everywhere. He has documents uh, about how Africans are everywhere. You know that most, most oppressors claim that they were first in the United States. That's not true. There's a lot of documentation that shows that black people were here before Columbus. So Randaku Rashidi is a respected author and he did a lot of travels. He's traveled to many, many, many countries. So that is somebody that you could look up. Dr. Cloud Anderson is another one. He, ha he is still here. He's written five books that you can read. And the main one he goes by is uh, the Powernomics book. If you go to powernomics.com, you can order all the five books that he has written. He gives a lot of insight about our history and uh, how the black community can uh, get, you know, recover from this mess that we are in. So those are some of the people that I look up to. I would really encourage you, uh, listen to that movie called Out of Darkness. It covers almost everything that, uh, it, of course, in summary, it covers a lot of our history and it gives you kind of uh, direction on where to go look for information. All you need is where to look because there is nobody who can teach you everything. So my job here, and I, I hope that you'll appreciate, my job here is like a GPS for those who don't know, those people who are like me, who came to the United States with no knowledge of the history of the black community. In fact, uh, before I came to the U.S. 20 years ago, I had only met one African-American. I didn't even know the concept that there's black people in America. That's how ignorant I was. And I'm sure there's so many people in Africa who have never seen a black uh, American. All they do is, uh, all they know is what the, the media tells them. And we know that that is skewed. They control the information. So all they know is what the TV and the media tells them. So they really don't have an, an understanding of what the black community is like and what pr problems they've been through and are still going through. So until you come to the um, Americas and, st and see for yourself what is going on here, most of it we don't know. When we're in Africa, we really don't see because uh, nobody talks about it over there. So uh, another person that I would like to direct your attention to is Professor John Henry Clark. He's written a lot of books regarding our history, our struggle, and uh, you can look up his books on online or on Amazon. And he does have some YouTube uh, channels and uh, interviews that he has done. So go to John Henry Clark. Clark is C-L-A-R-K-E and look it up. There is another um, channel that I would like to direct your attention to. Uh, that would be Pan-African Television. So there's a lot of people that talk about it. I'm sure there are many, uh, many other TV channels or YouTube channels that I don't know about. These are the ones that I know. And the, the big ones, I mean, the ones that I know have really been interviewing uh, big people our big minds ab about our history and that people who are still working on our history and who share information freely because information needs to be shared freely because we don't <laughs> if you if you care about our community and if you care about pan-africanism you should do it for free another channel is our uh, uh, is uh, our addi.org is a website this uh he that there is a, a youtube channel uh i think it's uh make africa great or something like that but i, I i'm trying to direct your attention to dr chihombori kwao chihombori is c-h-i-h-o-m-b-o-r-i -R, i mean r-i 
this lady has been working very hard to work on the organization of trying to help Africa and African Americans in the diaspora to return back home to the motherland. Uh, so there is a, a, a organization called ADDI and you can go to our ADDI or you are ADDI dot org and register. They do have some Zoom calls. They do them on Saturdays. Uh, they will shoot you an email and give you a reminder of uh, when the meetings are. So it's ouraddi.org. And also they're encouraging people in the diaspora or people in Africa to learn Swahili. Learn Kiswahili. Uh, this, uh, most of our African countries, you know, every country has its own languages and most countries uh, speak the language of the colonizer so they chose kiswahili because most countries in the east africa and some in the central africa speak swahili so if you have a, a plan of going back to the motherland especially if you are an african you encourage to learn kiswahili we need to have a language that unites us uh, because right now, if I went to Mozambique, they speak Portuguese. I don't know Portuguese. There are some countries that speak Spanish. I don't know Spanish. Uh, there are some countries that speak Germany. So we need to give up these, uh, these colonizers' languages and have a language that we speak. And we also understand that Africa was purposely divided by the oppressor during the Berlin Conference over a hundred years ago so they did that on purpose so that they can benefit they actually did it for themselves without inviting the african countries we were not invited to the berlin conference but they went ahead and divided the continent into the countries they were interested in so germany took what they wanted british took what they wanted you know spain took what they wanted so the portuguese took what they wanted and it was on purpose to make, to disempower us because the greatest fear of the colonizer is the unity of Africa. So if Africa was to unite, guess what? We are the, the biggest continent. We will overpower everybody. So they didn't want that. They wanted gold from here, diamonds from here, oil from here. And so they had to, uh, you know, divide us so we are powerless so that they can take away whatever they want and some countries up to now are still suffering from this uh, division. So there has been a great, um, a great call to unite Africa. And we know very well what happened to the people who were calling for the unity of Africa. They got taken. So the young people out there and the people who still have the, the call from the ancestors to unite Africa, Keep going. It will take it will take time, but if we all have the same intentions and we ha unite in our call to the ancestors to help us, this can be achieved. So there, I know uh, the president of Kenya has been calling for the unity of Africa. There are several leaders that have been calling for the unity of Africa. That is Africa's dream: is to unite Africa. If we do, then our problems will be halfway solved, I believe. And it's also a call for uh, Africans in the diaspora. That means all over the world, wherever you, they are, South America, Central America, North America, Europe, the, the Africans that were taken out of motherland, um, the goal is to welcome them back home. And I pray that our leaders in Africa will unite in making it possible and making it easier for our brothers and sisters to reunite back to the continent where they can flourish and where they can live without having to look behind their back for somebody trying to kill them because of their skin color, somebody oppressing them because of their skin color, somebody denying them promotion, denying them school colleges, you know, denying them uh, medical privileges, denying them an opportunity to make it in this life that is free but 
it is going to take all of us. It's going to take self-education. It's going to take each one to first of all, educate themselves and unlearn the hate that was planted inside us by the oppressor. Start by self-loving, self-loving and self-appreciation. For those of you who are still in denial, you don't want to be considered black and you don't want to be considered African, you have some work to do on yourself. Just understand that it is the intention of the oppressor to brainwash you. And they've managed to do that by making you hate yourself or hate your own people. That is why you find us fighting among one another, which is really, uh, really a purpose by the oppressor to make us do that. So another book that I would like to direct your attention to is Miss Education of the Negro. Miss Education of the Negro. And this book was written by Carter Godwin Woodson. Carter, C-A-R-T-E-R. Godwin, G-O-D-W-I-N. Woodson is W-O-O-D-S-O-N. Remember, the only way out is in. We have to do the internal work first. First of all, we have to unbrainwash ourselves and unlearn all the crap that was planted inside us. Uh, have a big interest in knowing who you are by studying and plugging yourself in with the Pan-Africanists who are teaching us our history. We have to teach ourselves because it's not being taught in school. And eventually, we'll get to the promised land. So I hope this message has helped somebody. I know it's not for everyone. I do hope it has helped somebody uh, though. So this is Marianne. I wish you all uh, happy holidays and see you on my next message. Leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave a comment so other people can share can share, can get to get this information, share the video with somebody that might benefit from it. Please study. It, uh, don't, you don't need to, don't have to read everything. Start by doing one thing. Read one book and recommend it. Share the book. Get another book. Recommend it to somebody else and share. And all of us will get there. Have a good one.